Radio OU. I'm roaming across your mind. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for tuning in to iRadio OU. I'm in today's installment of the talk. You tune in to me, Hanim. And of course, if you take a look at our website or our portal, iRadio.OUM.EDU.MY, you'll notice that our live streaming portion is open and usually for you for you uh for all you regular listeners out there that means that we have a guest in the studio and with me today is actually jimmy Tio. okay so jimmy welcome to our studios uh, thank you for having me here with you in iRadio okay now jimmy is going to share with us a, an, a very exciting portal that we have on uh oum's portal actually one of oum's offering to our students right yeah, yeah so today jimmy is going to share with us about E-gate. Okay. Now I hope that you know at least some of you, our, some of our learners, some of our listeners out there have actually explored E-gate so that you'll have a clearer picture of what we're going to talk about today. But if you haven't, don't worry. Jim is here to share with us all about E-gate. But before we do that, we're going to take a small break first. So if you want to know more about E-gate, it's very very interesting and very very beneficial resource i'd say learning resource for all oum learners and all of you out there you need to stay tuned to iradio oum okay in the meantime this is from ben lee this is catch my disease only on iradio oum roaming across your mind I read you, OUM, roaming across your mind. Still tuned in to me. And anyway, now to our guest for today, Jimmy, who's going to share with us about E-Gate. Okay, now, Jimmy, the most obvious question, I would say. <laughs> okay. yeah. Can you share with our listeners, what is E-Gate? Okay, okay. Yeah. E-Gate is actually an, uh, an acronym, mm-hmm. or you can say ex- extended acronym. Mm-hmm. It stands for Electronic Gateway to English Resources. Mm-hmm. And as its name suggested, it acts like a gateway mm-hmm. uh, to resources that you can find on the internet, mm-hmm. as well as the one that we uh, sort of uh, do it in house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So basically, that's it. It's a resources mm-hmm. gateway. Electronic resources. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So how exactly does eGate function? Um. First of all. Uh, eGate is designed with a very simple interface. Mm-hmm. All right. If you can, if you look at the portal, mm-hmm. you can see it's straight lines and squares. That's mm-hmm. it. And mm-hmm. there are only two colors, mm-hmm. like blue and white. Mm-hmm. The blue is actually our OUM blue. Mm-hmm. All right. So, um, student that take up our program, mm-hmm. like BE TESOL or SMP program majoring in English, mm-hmm. can actually get additional. Uh, support from eGate in terms of materials, in terms yeah. of resources mm-hmm. and learning uh, stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's not it's not it's not a replacement for the module. It actually enhances the content of the module. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a replacement mm-hmm. for the module. It's it's more like a support mm-hmm. for the module. Yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, you still have to read your module. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, it's not good news to the student. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, maybe uh, if if you can, uh, if our listeners are interested to go to eGate, actually the link is on the main portal. The OUM portal, uh, the lower part has lots of tiny icons. Icons, so yeah. So one one of yeah. it is there. One yeah. one of the link is to eGate, uh, or the address is eGate. Uh, yeah, uh, eGate.oum.edu.my. Okay, yeah. so these are the. Uh, you'll see all the different portions on this portal now. Yeah. Uh, the, this this different portion actually re, uh, represents different things on eGate. Okay, but but Jimmy just won't uh, explain that. Now, okay, yeah. we'll share that with you yeah, after keep the keep them break. suspense. <laughs> 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 okay, so maybe it's time for you to explore it yourself. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's take a small break. We'll come back on the different portions of eGate after the break. So keep us company right here on iRadio OUM, roaming across your mind. Radio OUM roaming across your mind. Still tuned into the talk with 
our guest for today, Jimmy, is sharing with us about eGate. Now, earlier Jimmy has shared about uh, the the introduction, what is eGate, how it functions, and all that. And Jimmy mentioned actually eGate is, is very simple interface. If you go to the website eGate.oum.edu.my, okay, it's just lines and words and all that. Yeah. Now, the words actually uh, the different portions that 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 is part of eGate. Now, uh, Jimmy, can you elaborate, can you share with us on the different portions on eGate and what are in those portions? Yeah, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, there are three sections. If you look at the portal, mm-hmm. uh, you can see the first one will be skills. Mm-hmm. The f- all here on top. Mm-hmm. So you can see grammar, uh, the four main skills in English, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Mm-hmm. And then you have creative writings. And one thing different is uh, that uh, we also include soft skills mm-hmm. uh, as part of the section because we believe uh, language alone is not enough if you want to be a good communicator and do some networking. Mm-hmm. So we actually add soft skills in there. Mm-hmm. And then the second part will be tools mm-hmm. like forum, guestbook, uh, links and networking. These are tools. Mm-hmm for you to interact with us mm-hmm. and uh, finally the third section as I mentioned earlier is mm-hmm. the soft skills so there are actually three parts mm-hmm. the English skills the tools for interaction mm-hmm. and lastly is the soft skills mm-hmm. yeah Okay, so uh, for your information, I've done my exploring of eGate. Okay, okay that's good. <laughs> okay, and one of the links or one of the resources shared is actually FB status generator, Facebook status generator, am I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so for our for our listeners who, who, who want to know which which of the uh, which one of the uh, links actually can help you with that, you can ha- you have to explore the uh, eGate yeah. interface. Yeah, uh, what happened was that generator will mm-hmm. actually help you to generate cool FB status mm-hmm, true. you know mm-hmm. uh, things that will get respond from mm-hmm. other people mm-hmm. yeah you should try that okay yeah, it's so very that interesting that's one of the things so it's, yeah. it's not it's not just boring academic stuff here yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's really pretty fun. much fun yeah. yeah okay so it's it's totally making full use of all the resources available online yes okay now uh, there's a very interesting um portion that you mentioned yeah, which is under the tools section or yeah. portion which is the forum yeah. now how does the forum portion works okay mm-hmm. uh, forum is basically a bulletin board mm-hmm. uh, it functions as uh, like y- the usual forum mm-hmm. just that uh, to use the forum you have to log in mm-hmm. as a student mm-hmm. or OUM staff you mm-hmm. have to use the OUM login mm-hmm. because uh, these are mainly academic forums mm-hmm. so if you I'm going to like show you one example here. Mm-hmm. Uh, radio listeners, you can't see this, uh-huh. but uh, I'm going to explain. But actually, we can. There's oh, the live can? video streaming. Oh, great, uh-huh. great. So, uh, you can see my mouth now <laughs> moving <laughs> towards the uh, folders, mm-hmm. all right? So, the titles of the sections in the forum is actually uh, the same as the one in eGate. Mm-hmm. So, you have a uh, general grammar, listening, speaking mm-hmm. and stuff. The same portion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, what happened is we did it nicer in, in, in the sense that we uh, collab- it make it collapsible. Mm-hmm. So, if you click on general, you can see mm-hmm. other style. Mm-hmm. So, students can actually discuss on mm-hmm. any of these topics and uh, they can um, ask questions, mm-hmm. they can share ideas, and then you can see other people responding mm-hmm, to it. Mm-hmm. I will respond to it. Currently, I'm moderating the forum mm-hmm, myself. Mm-hmm. All right. So, so it's uh, the questions or the topics are actually initiated by learners themselves. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. The main topics is done by us, but after that, it sort of take a life on its own. Mm-hmm. Like students begin to ask certain questions, mm-hmm. and uh, one thing interesting is the El Fresco section. Mm-hmm. If you click that, it's like uh, they have anecdotes and jokes, mm-hmm. you know, movie reviews, mm-hmm. book reviews. These are done by students. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's like a collaborative community. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. The different portions with all the links, and then we have the forums where you can interact with the people who are actually using the resources in or uh, on eGate. Okay, now Jimmy will share more with us on eGate, but you need to stay tuned to iRadio OUM because right now we're going to take a small break, so don't go anywhere. Keep us company right here on iRadio OUM.
I read your OEM roaming across your mind. Still tuned in to the talk. And today we're exploring eGate with Jimmy. Okay, now, um, earlier Jimmy has shared with us different portions or the different sections available on eGate. Now, the next question perhaps is who should use eGate? Um, is this portal only limited to perhaps only OEM learners? Mm-hmm. Okay, I would say that um, anyone who would want to learn English can actually use eGate. Mm-hmm. Uh, eGate is available actually in the public domain. Mm-hmm. It's something like a little bit of contribution from us, mm-hmm. like our CSR kind mm-hmm. of thing. Yes, like, of course. Uh, yeah, a student in these schools like secondary school, college, mm-hmm. university or anyone basically uh, is an English learning tool. Mm-hmm. So if you are interested in learning English, you can actually go to eGate. Uh, and then start exploring mm-hmm. and uh, I'm gonna like show you quickly yeah. let's say um, if you just want to learn about more about grammar mm-hmm. to help you in writing so mm-hmm. you just click on the grammar portion of it and the gate will open and then you have uh, lots of smaller titles mm-hmm. that will bring you to the correct website mm-hmm. yeah so I, I, it's for everyone, I think. Uh, yeah. So, so the thing is, uh, if if I can just just digress a little bit, only, yeah. okay? <laughs> because sure. because you see, one of the one of the issues on online or online resources is credibility. Okay. Okay. So you don't know whether or not this so, this source or this 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 uh, this website can be trusted or not. Yeah. So eGate actually simplifies that matter. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Because what happened was mm-hmm. the link was like all the links are vetted ah, and yes, we have gone through it mm-hmm. we have tried it yes. and they say oh this is good for uh-huh. a student this is good for people who wants to learn english mm-hmm. and then we actually link it mm-hmm. yeah so we actually s- save you a lot of work yes of course <laughs> yeah. uh, you you've compiled all the useful resources in yeah. one place yeah. and only only the forum portion is for OUM learners correct, mm-hmm. correct. so if yeah. you want to explore the forum po- portion and you know what to do. Yeah, go register <laughs> yeah. as our students. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a small break. Next, um, um, Jimmy is going to share how eGate can actually enrich our learning process. If you want to know more, you need to stay tuned to our radio. Yeah, that would be great. Mm-hmm. Radio OEM roaming across your mind. Still tuned into I Radio OEM in the talk with our guest for today, Jimmy, who's sharing with us on eGate. Okay, about eGate. Now, uh, of course, uh, maybe some of our listeners or some of our learners out there are still unsure of what's actually in eGate. So, Jimmy, can you just demonstrate one of the links that you have on eGate? Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll first of all. Uh, mm-hmm show you that uh, we have many many skills here mm-hmm. and then uh, this is one of the advantage because we actually break it down into manageable portion for the students mm-hmm. instead of learn english but you don't know where to start exactly. you actually mm-hmm. have uh, somewhere to start mm-hmm. all right and then uh, the second thing is that uh, it is available 24 mm-hmm. 7. it's like having a personal tutor exactly. it's like you don't have to go for tuition mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. you, anytime you want yeah, at your own pace yeah mm-hmm. at your own pace at your own time mm-hmm. it's, it's 24 7. Mm-hmm. all right so then, uh, i'm gonna show you uh one side mm-hmm. uh, if you open up your speaking I'm mm-hmm. going to click on that and y- if you can see in the streaming mm-hmm. that uh, speaking part and I'm going to like click on motion phonics mm-hmm. which I've clicked earlier mm-hmm. and then you can you will have this mm-hmm. the what happened in this mm-hmm. website is actually you can start with the lowest phonics mm-hmm. like to teach you how to say things sound correctly mm-hmm. like for the vowels mm-hmm. like you can hear all right and mm-hmm. how to get the correct sound how mm-hmm. do you get to move your mouth and your hand mm-hmm. to mimic mm-hmm. certain expression and, and get the correct sound mm-hmm. all right Sh- can you hear that mm-hmm. Sh- bell. Bell. yeah as mm-hmm. uh, like in this part it's mm-hmm. a bell but mm-hmm. so how do you do it hand mm-hmm. closed by the corner of your mouth mm-hmm. then open up yeah. suddenly yeah. so it's a bell mm-hmm. bell all right so this is one of the things that you can learn, you know, mm-hmm. to to say the correct sound. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's it's bringing the virtual world of of learning English into your own computers. Okay, now of course, 
this being one of the uh, content of eGate, of course, there's a lot of beneficial content, yeah. English resources yeah. on eGate itself. So, your opinion, Jimmy, your own personal opinion, why should our learners explore eGate? Uh, how can eGate enrich their learning process? Uh, as I said earlier, first of all, it is careful I and mean, it's break down into manageable uh, skills mm-hmm. and then the second is it's like available 24 7 it's also uh, up to your proficiency level because mm-hmm. it, it uh, certain websites that we link to actually start with beginning mm-hmm. level mm-hmm. until at once mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter if you are already an advanced speaker mm-hmm. or beginning to speak you can actually go to the speaking site mm-hmm. and then choose the website that is relevant to you mm-hmm. it goes the same for other skills for grammar reading and everything mm-hmm. is also according to levels mm-hmm. so it doesn't matter so I think um, regardless of your proficiency level mm-hmm. you can just enter eGate and find the one suitable for you mm-hmm. and if you want added benefit I think you can follow us on Twitter mm-hmm. or join our Facebook add mm-hmm. us as friend and okay. then what you'll get it will push content to you mm-hmm. every morning <laughs> Like okay. yeah, and Friday is mm-hmm. eGate day I where see. you spend like ten minutes to explore eGate. Uh-huh. And if I have new links, I will uh, then post it on Facebook mm-hmm. and push it to Twitter and saying, "Hey, look, uh, we have a new link mm-hmm. uh, added. Go explore and stuff I like see. that." Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah. not just the portal itself. There are different ways of. Yeah. So if itself. you want to uh, follow us on Twitter, just go to networking site mm-hmm. and then you can see the two link here. Mm-hmm. Join us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do both, mm-hmm. but the content will be the same. Yes, yeah. of course. Okay, because yeah. it's linked between the two. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that's on eGate. Okay, actually, there's a bit more on eGate that Jimmy wants to share with us. Mm-hmm. But we're going to take a small break first. So you keep us company right here on iRadio OUM. Radio OUM roaming across your mind back with us in the talk with our guest for today, Jimmy Chiu, who's sharing with us on about eGate. <laughs> okay, now, of course, uh, Jimmy, uh, with your background as an English lecturer, okay, uh, what would you say are some of the most common mistakes that our learners or your learners have made when it comes to English, uh, when it comes to their English? Okay, mm-hmm. uh... I think there's whole list of common errors mm-hmm. that learners make actually uh, to discuss that take some time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, I think the most common mistake mm-hmm. that our learners did was, I think it was direct translation. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the most common thing when I mark script and mm-hmm. I noticed that. And it sort of provide me like a lot of good entertainment <laughs> <laughs> reading it. Like it's so funny. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think uh, if I can remember an example uh, yeah um the the funniest i guess mm-hmm. uh, because it took me quite a while to figure it out was mm-hmm. a sentence made by the, the students uh, mm-hmm. he's i think he says the the man was chased out from his house mm-hmm. because uh, uh the man was chased out from his house by mm-hmm. his wife because mm-hmm. he's playing wood tree okay <laughs> so i was like what the hell is wood tree <laughs> uh-huh. oh sorry i shouldn't uh-huh. use the word that. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> <laughs> so I was like, wood tree. And then uh, it took me quite a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, I realized wood tree means kayu tiga. Eh, so okay. the man was chased out from the house because dear Burmai kayu tiga. So, <laughs> okay. so it's like direct translation. This is, this is actual. This is actual. <laughs> okay. uh, I won't tell you which script it is. Okay. But, but it's actually written by one of our students. So th- this is... This is well, you always hear things like this. Yeah. You, know, you, you know, you you never think that people would translate uh, serial killer as pembunuh bijiran, <laughs> but apparently they yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so now coming back to eGate. Yeah. Okay. How can eGate perhaps remedy or help with this situation? Okay. Uh, if you go to uh, the grammar section, mm-hmm. you can actually have one link called Common Mistakes in English. Mm-hmm. You just click on that and you'll find most of the common mistakes mm-hmm. uh, done by learners 
who just begin to learn English. Mm-hmm. I think that is a lot of help there. Mm-hmm. If you can just not do those mistakes, yes, of course, half the mistake is eliminated. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So you can help you identify what are the the most common mistakes that everybody do, perhaps. Yeah. Eh? Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. When learning English, yeah, so go to the grammar section mm-hmm. and click on common mistakes in English. Okay. Yeah, it's a link there. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to take a small break first. Okay, just a little bit more on Egypt that Jimmy is going to share with us. But we'll come back after the break. Radio OEM rolling across your mind in the final minutes of our talk segment today on iRadio OUM with our guest Jimmy Teo who is sharing with us about eGate. Okay, J- Jimmy, you've shared a lot about eGate, about what's on eGate and your own anecdotal experiences. Okay, so last but certainly not least, Jimmy, perhaps you can share with our listeners out there what are your hopes for them uh, in relation with eGate? Uh, I think uh, the first thing is to ask all our listeners to actually go visit mm-hmm. eGate. Again, eGate. eGate is uh, the website uh-huh. is eGate.oum.edu.my. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think uh, I think uh, if you look at the world today, it's mm-hmm. getting smaller mm-hmm. and it's getting borderless. Mm-hmm. Technology has converges everything. Mm-hmm. So, uh, if you don't have English, mm-hmm. it's very hard for you to actually uh, function. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the global world, you can probably function right here in Malaysia mm-hmm. or right here in your home. Mm-hmm. But if you want to broaden your communication, I think it's a little bit difficult. So, mm. eGate is actually a life-changing portal. Mm. <laughs> it can actually change your life. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So go visit eGate. Mm-hmm. Take time to learn um, the skills. Go explore it and. Um, it's all available at your fingertip. Mm-hmm. You don't even have to drive or anything. Just mm, true. everything is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, take take this opportunity. Mm-hmm. You know, don't waste it. Um, just maybe to entice you a little bit, uh, we have visitors from fifty four countries mm-hmm. uh, who actually visited Egypt, and up to today we have more than sixteen thousand visitors mm-hmm. here. Uh, of course, it's not that impressive. So mm-hmm. to make it more impressive, I would urge listeners to actually visit eGate. Okay. And then if you find it useful, you find it good for you, just leave a line in our guest book. Mm-hmm. This is to motivate us. Yeah. <laughs> and to promote. To yeah, to friend. promote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So it's, it's, not just about, it's not just about improving your English. It's about improving yourself yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. And with that, we've come to the end of today's installment of the talk. With Jimmy Teo talking about Ige. So thank you, Jimmy, for spending your time. You're most welcome. Okay, so I hope all you listeners out there are exploring Ige right now. Okay. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is me, Hanim, signing off. Again, thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, so you're welcome. <laughs> the SW is stay tuned to iRadio OUM. We're roaming across your mind. <laughs>